What is good YouTube and welcome back to the channel today people today I have a brand new deck profile for you. I actually have a harpy lady deck This is a pure harpy lady deck and this uh, skill we're playing is no more miss nice my if you don't know what that skill does It says that uh, one here. Let me actually uh, pull it up for you all uh, This is how I uh, since it was asked in one of my videos I'll show you you go to all custom cards and then you look up the skill you're looking for so it's no more miss and then you search all right, and then you get to No More Miss Nice My, which is this skill right here. It says once per turn when your monster inflicts dam battle damage to your opponent, destroy one spell or trap on the field. So this is a really neat skill. I like it a lot. It's uh, your MST of the deck. We don't play breakers. Uh, this deck is actually just based around trying to destroy spell and trap cards on the field. So uh, I also want to say that this deck is actually made by a guy on Discord by the name of CEO. If you're into Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy or Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, Speed Duel League groups, that's his name in there. Uh, if you go to the Harpy in the Speed Duel League, this is where I found this list. So big shout out to him for this. But yeah, this is a really neat uh, deck. And after play testing it, I actually had a lot of fun playing this. Um, but like I was saying, no more Miss Nice Mines or Skill. For our main deck, we're playing Triple Harpy Ladies. Uh, Cyber Harpy Lady, I should say. Uh, it's Harpy Lady while in the deck, so you can't play any other Harpy Ladies, like Harpy Lady 1, 2, or 3. Uh, while you play this deck. We don't play Sisters or Elegant Ecotist in this, um, and for good reason. We don't need to swarm the field. We're just trying to destroy spell and trap cards, and uh, our 1800 beaters. how we do that. We also play Birdface. That way we can search into our Harpy Lady uh, whenever it's destroyed by battle. And then we play two Swift Guy of the Fierce Knight. Now, this is the only list I've seen in the current meta right now that has played this card, but it's absolutely bonkers. I actually love this card. It's so good. When you have no cards in your hand, you can just normal summon them from your hand. So it's like insane because we're only playing uh, six monster cards in this deck, so we're able to normal summon him more often. Uh, we're also playing two Harpies Hunting Ground to go with our Harpy Ladies. Now, uh, what this card says is that all Wind and Wing Beast monsters on the field gain 200 attack and defense, which is honestly, in my opinion, a, bit, a really good part of this uh, effect. It really does come in handy. But it also says when a Harpy Lady or a Harpy Lady Sister is normal special summon, uh, the player who summoned the monster gets a target spell trap on the field and destroy that target. So this is really cool. And the reason why is because you destroy spell and trap cards with this, you destroy spell and trap cards with your skill. And then if you destroy one of your own spell and trap cards because it's a mandatory effect and you have to, and you have Wild Tornado face down, which we play at two in the main deck, uh, when this Wild Tornado is popped, we get to destroy a monster on the field instead. Or one face up card on the field and destroy it. So that's really nice. Uh, going into more, the last of our spell cards, we're actually playing two shrinks, which is a quick play spell card uh, that halves the monster's attack points. If you uh, use this card, I highly recommend you do it during the damage step, unless it gets breakered, and then you go, you're going to want to use it on the breaker then. Um, we also play another weird card that I don't usually see, Jar of Greed. This actually was not bad. I loved playing this card. <laughs> Every time I activated it, I drew in the cards I needed, and it was just a lot of fun to play. Um, and the other cards we play is Skill Successor, another damage step uh, trap card that can also be used from the graveyard, so that's pretty nice. And then uh, if you don't know what it does, you gain 400 attack when you activate it from field, you gain 800 attack when you banish it from graveyard. The other cards we play is Three Swamp Mirror, uh, which is kind of like a Zoma, it's a trap monster. But you can choose whether it comes into attack mode or defense mode, and you get to choose its type and attribute, which is very clutch with going with our Harpy's Hunting Ground. This gives us an extra 200 attack and defense to our Winged Beast monsters. We make this into a Wind Winged Beast monster, and then uh, it gains its 200 attack, making it a 2k beater. It's insane. I love this card. Going to the Wild Tornado as the last two cards on my deck, like I said earlier in the uh, deck list. This card's in here for whenever it gets hit with the Harpy Hunting Ground, or you can use it to target face-up spell and trap cards on the field and destroy it. So if you're against, like, say, XYZ, you can destroy their Union Hanger. You're against, uh, say, Twisted Personality, you can destroy their Wheel uh, of Nightmare. If you play against uh, some other decks that are out there right now, um, Magnet Warriors is a good one. Parasite's also a good one. You play against Parasite, they equipped your uh, their Parasite Paranoid to your monster. You go Wild Tornado, pop the monster. They're only summoning one from hand at that point. It's really cool. I really like playing this card in the main deck. So um, for a side deck, we play one Cosmic Cyclone. This is generally just for the Moss matchup. Uh, we'll play this with two of the Wild Tornadoes if we have to. Triple Defusion, I'm turned on to this right now by the Showdowns. I think it's Tetra who was using it. I could be wrong on that name. 
and uh, he's been main decking three D fusions in his deck. I think it's a very powerful one because you activate it from hand, they book a moon their own mon or from field, they book a moon their own monster, and then you activate the other D fusion and get it off the field. So I'm really turned on to the D fusion right now at three in the side deck. And then lastly, we play two noble mana cross outs, and we're playing the double noble man for the apprentice package because that package sucks, and I want to get those old Vindictive magicians off the field as fast as possible. No extra deck. Now the reason why we're not playing extra deck is because I want my opponent to be popping my back row. That way we can turbo out the wild tornadoes faster. Um, that's my opinion on it. Also, I would much rather him than be hitting my back row cards rather than my hunting ground. So that's the reason why. All right. Without further ado, let's just jump right into this uh, showcase. Alright everybody, the guy that we're playing against in this uh, little showcase is actually, he's really good with his deck. We're playing against a Twisted Personality deck, and he is going, his name is Zobvid, and he's really cool. Like, he, the deck he played was really nice, and I actually had a lot of fun playtesting this deck with him. So we're just going to jump right into the deck profile. Oh boy. Sorry, I'm just getting over being sick. You can probably still hear it in my voice and everything. But like I said, he's playing Twisted. Uh, he also plays Spear Dragon in his deck, which I think is a very good tech. So he go, opts to go first, sets Zero Gravity, which is also a really neat card that he's playing. And then goes ahead and sets the Zone of the Spirit. Uh, it's our turn. We go and we actually set our Jar of Green, our Skill Successor, and our Shrink, and then Normal Summon our Cyber Harpy Lady. We then attack for 1,800 attack points, to which he Zone of the Spirits. Uh, we sink on the Zoma, that way he thinks like, oh, we might have something, and then we just pass the turn. Uh, he then summons the Spear Dragon and sets the Nightmare Wheel, switching the Zoma to attack mode and then attacking uh, the Cyber Harpy Lady with the Spear Dragon. We then use the Skill Successor during the damage step, uh, opting to change our monster's attack points to 2200, and then our opponent takes life point damage. Due to them taking life point damage, we can now activate our skill, No More Miss Nice My. And uh, this will allow me to destroy a spell trap card on the field. So we're going to destroy the Zoma because if you look here in its effect, it says this card is also also still a trap. So that card is now off the field. Um, we go into our turn. We set our Swamp Mirror. And then we're able to normal summon our Swift Guy of the Fierce Knight for our 2300 beater. We then play the Jar of Green, allowing us to draw one card. Uh, which gave us our other Cyber Harpy Lady. Now, I also want to point out the reason why I did this. So, Twisted Personality, if you don't know, gains counters for every time that it damage is done to it, or done to either player, like, at all. Like, paying cost for a card effect, taking effect damage, taking battle damage, it gets a counter. Maxes out at three. Uh, so, right now it has one, and I know that if I attack him two times this turn, it's going to have three counters on it. So, I want to try to opt him to try to either rip the card out of my hand, and not pop the card. So, he can either out one of my attacks here, and then rip the card next turn or if I do all three he's going to destroy a card and then I have the harpy lady to replace it for next turn so that's that's pretty much what I was doing here zero gravity is activated here though which was a really neat tech for his deck switching both my monsters to defense mode he nightmare wheels my um, swift guy of the fierce knight and then he draws for turn sets the other uh, zero gravity uses the twisted like I had previously stated and uh, discards my Cyber Harpy from hand, which is unfortunate because we draw the Harpy Hunting Ground for turn. But it's alright. We uh, switch our Cyber Harpy Lady to attack mode and activate Harpy's, uh, Harpy's Hunting Ground. And then we're going to attack directly for 1800. At this point, our opponent then uses the Sphere Karibo and puts us to defense mode. We now activate the Swamp Mirror, summoning our monster in attack position during the battle phase, making him a Wind Wing Beast, give, make him a 2000 attack point monster, and then attack our opponent directly. At this point, you can't activate the zero gravity as set because then this card will just go back to attack mode. So, um, no more Miss Nice Mai is activated, and we're actually going to be popping the Nightmare Wheel so he doesn't get a second counter his next turn. The opponent draws for turn, drawing the Waking the Dragon. We also draw for turn, switching the Cyber Harpy to attack mode, switching the Swift Guy to attack mode, and then attacking directly for 2300. Zero gravity switches all monsters on our field to defense position. Our opponent goes into their next turn after we pass, and it's just a Sphere Kriba. So at this point, uh, we, we pretty much win the game. So we're going to attack for 23 without switching the Swamp Mirror to attack. Uh, Waking the Dragon's activated because he has no other play. Passes turn, or uh, gives us the game. Alright, let's get ready to game two. I believe the card I sided in against him was Cosmic Cyclone, which isn't very optimal, but I also wanted an extra spell trap destruction just for the, um, the... Uh, Nightmare Wheels, because uh, that card sucks to have to fight against. 
But uh, I go ahead and I set my skill successor and my wild tornado. I summon my cyber harpy lady and I pass my turn off to my opponent. My opponent summons the spear dragon to the field in attack position, sets two cards, and then it uh, ends turn, which is fine because once he saw last game, he's like, all right, he's playing skill successor. Like if I attack into his cyber harpy, he's going to use the skill successor and pop one of my newly set cards, which, right, makes sense. You're, you're playing well then. I go ahead and I sweat, set my swamp mirror. I then normal summon my swift guy of the fierce knight again. And then I attack into the Spear Dragon, which it gets Nightmare Wield. I uh, misplayed here real bad because this was, I believe, the first test I did with this deck. And uh, I actually didn't wa uh, Wild Tornado here, even though I had it set. It would have been real nice there. Um, but yeah, so he uses a Sphere Creeper here, switching my uh, Cyber Harpy to Defense Mode. Draws for turn and sets the Waking the Dragon, hits the Battle Phase, and then actually... Uh, Kills the Cyber Harpy Lady and inflicts piercing damage to me. That's why I like the Spear Dragon, by the way. Being able to do piercing to the defense monsters are really good, especially with the Apprentice package running around. Like, having anything that pierces in this game at the moment is, like, really good. Going on to our uh, next turn, we uh, summon the Swamp Mirror so we can set the Shrink Face down. And then we enter into the Battle Phase and then we attack the uh, um, Spear Dragon. At this point, I Wild Tornado the Nightmare Wheel, uh, and then I attack into um, Spear Dragon. But we uh, actually did a little bit of a rolling check here. Um, I thought that Nightmare Wheel prevented my monster battle position from being changed by card effect. It doesn't. It's just manually. So I can't switch it from attack to defense or from defense to attack. That's what it pretty much means. Um, but... Um, so what I did here was uh, I got I messaged one of my friends, asked him pretty much the ruling, and then we figured out like, oh hey, uh, that was an illegal play. So you know all I did here was just continue the wild tornado onto the nightmare wheel. That way he can't just uh, remove three counters his next turn and then just uh, destroy my swift Gaia. He sets the book and then proceeds to attack the swamp mirror. I use the shrink here. That during the damage step, obviously, this is going to have his monster's attack points, making him lose a total of 50 life points, to which I no more miss Nice My, destroying his newly set uh, card. I draw for my turn. It's the Cyber Harpy Lady. I switch my Swift Guy to attack mode, my Swamp Mirror to attack mode, and my Cyber Harpy Lady to attack mode. Um, I then proceed to battle into the Spear Dragon, and then I attack directly with the Swamp Mirror. Now, here's the point where I get to decide. Do I use my skill and pop the back row, or do I take the gamble and attack directly, fearing the Waking the Dragon? Because we know he plays it. He showed it to us last game when he activated it at the very end. Um, so I actually took the gamble and just attacked directly instead of using our skill here, and it actually paid off in our favor, winning us the match. So that's pretty much the deck. If you guys like this kind of content, make sure you leave a like. If you like me, make sure you subscribe. And above all else, stay awesome, everybody. I love making the content for you. So if you guys think of any other deck that you want to see, just let me know. All right, guys. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.